I know this one is going to hurt Isaac's heart. It's number five, LSU at Texas A&M. Uh, my question is, trap game? It kind of seemed like it. I mean, the way LSU played. They, I mean, now, don't get me wrong. The home of the 12th man is a tough place to play. Kyle Field is a difficult place to play. It is. Because the thing is, too, LSU, you're going into the SEC championship. You're thinking, man, if we win the SEC championship against Georgia, you know, they have the possibility of being the first two-loss team in the CFP, in the CFP history. And they're going into a tough game in a tough environment. Maybe they overlook it just a hair. And maybe they end up losing. Uh, so who picked who? We all picked LSU. And I think I can tell you the reason we all picked LSU is because even though this game was on the road for LSU in a tough environment, Texas A&M has sucked all year. Now, I can't say I didn't see this coming, but it did surprise me a little bit because this game was honestly kind of close until it wasn't. LSU outpassed A&M, but not by much. A&M outrushed LSU 274 to 187. Devin A. Chain comes back from injury, gets 215 yards and two touchdowns. And then, of course, turnovers for LSU. That darn play-action fumble strikes again, and uh, they give the ball over late. Final score ends up being 38-23. to I'm going to let Isaac talk about this one just because of the playoff implications for LSU. I mean, and they're still in the, they're still in the SEC championship. So what, is, what does this mean for LSU as a fan and, honestly, just as a team? You know, as a team, I, I think I think this goes to show that, you know, you can never overlook any one opponent. You know, you can make the same case for, um, make the same case for the Arkansas game. You know, Arkansas was a team who was flirting with five hundred, and we went into Fayetteville after after beating Bama, and it was like, you know, we'll probably be okay. You know, I think we were favored by a touchdown or something like that, or no, we were on favored by a field goal. I'm sorry, and we won by a field goal or whatever it was. So. I don't know. I, I just I think that either I'm not going to blame Brian Kelly. I'm not going to blame the coaching staff. I don't really know what to say other than it's possible it was a trap game, or I'll say this: A and M had nothing else to play for but to play spoiler. And I think honestly, even with a 90 million dollar buyout, I think they saved Jimbo's job for another year. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, they just went in there. They didn't. They, they looked flat all night. They did not. They didn't lead not one time. You know, they they trailed by as many as two touchdowns. Uh, at any given moment, you know, they went down 7, 10 to 17, then it was 17 17, then it was 17 31. And it's all in all, they didn't play a great game. I mean, we combined for a total of less than 400 yards, you know, 197 through the air, 187 on the ground. It's a recipe for disaster. And AM, they always like to play us close. They haven't won in Baton Rouge in the SEC in the past 10 years, but, you know, they've won three of the past five matchups. You can go back to 2018, you look at the, the seven overtime game, which may or may not have been correct or whatever. But just all in all, you know, outside of 2019, they've played us really close. And the fact that we went in there last night as a team with all the expectation in the world to win the game, favored by 10, 75% chance to win as of kickoff, and to lose by two touchdowns, it hurts. And as a fan, it really sucks. I, I hate a and I especially after Max transfer, Max Johnson transferred and his brother, the five-star tight end, decommitted and flipped to a and all like in one day. I was like, man, I can't wait to play a and and now I wish we never would have had, would have had to, but we did, and we lost. And uh, you know we'll we'll go and play Georgia, and then we'll we'll hope for the best in that game. Go play a bowl game and hope to get to ten wins one way or the other. Yeah, man. And to see our predictions for championship weekend, come back to our episode on Thursday. And don't forget to go vote on the TBD Sportscast College Football Award Show. Link in the bio and in this video description. Anyway, yeah, it's a tough loss for LSU, especially with such a promising season. But even with this loss still, man, so much to be proud of. Winning the West, uh, going to the SEC Championship with a shot to win the entire conference. Um, so, I mean, still a lot to be proud of. It is a tough loss. And I know if it was me losing in a trap game, I'd, I'd be pretty upset too. So, But it is what it is.